Welcome to Multiplication with Tenths. Uh, in this lesson, I'm learning to multiply a whole number by a decimal fraction. Let's start with this question here. Uh, 3 times 1.7. So I've got one whole chocolate bar and 7 tenths, and I've got three groups that look like that. So I want to work out how much I've got in total. Well, you can see over here, I have got my oh, 1.7 up here, 1.7 here, 1.7 here, so those are my three groups. Let's start by working out how many tenths I've got. Well, you can see I've got three groups, and I've in each of those groups are seven tenths. Another way that I could write that is three groups of 0 0.7. And I know that 3 lots of 7 tenths would give me uh, 21 tenths. And 21 tenths is the same as 2 holes and 1 tenth. And the, I get the 2 holes because there's 10 tenths uh, in a hole, and here I've got 20, which is 2 holes, and then I've got that extra 1 tenth here. Now we can check that answer by moving all our tenths together. So to start with, I'm going to move all of these tenths here, up to here. And you can see just by moving those three up, I've made another whole chocolate bar, and I'm moving these ones up as well. Next, I'm going to go down to my bottom group here, and I'm going to move these tenths up. And you can see I've made a, another whole chocolate bar. I'll move that one up as well. So when we worked it out, we said that um, that three groups of seven tenths is the same as 2.1. And if I look up here, you can see one hole, two holes, and there's that one tenth. So we were right. Now there's also one hole in each of those groups. You can see there's a one hole here one hole here, and one hole here. So there are three groups of one hole. Well, I know three groups of one is three. So now it's time to start putting that together. We worked out what seven, uh, sorry, three groups of seven tenths is. That's 2.1, or two holes and one tenth. And we worked out what three groups of one would be. The answer to that was three. So now we can add those together. Three holes plus 2.1 holes is 5.1 holes. We can check it by counting out our materials as well. I've got one hole down here, two holes here, this whole row is three holes, with that whole row that's four, row, uh, four holes. Up here is my fifth hole, and there is my tenth. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got two groups of 2.6 chocolate bars. You can see here, over here are my two groups. This group's got two holes and six tenths, and this group's also got two holes and six tenths. Just like last time, I'm going to start with my tenths uh, first of all. Well, you can see there are two groups, and in each of these groups there are six tenths. And I can also write that like this, two groups of 0 0.6, because I know that there is the tenths column. And I know that two lots of 6 tenths is 12 tenths. And I know that there are 10 tenths in one hole, so I've got one hole and two tenths left over. But now let's just check that uh, with our materials. So I'm going to move the tenths from the bottom group up to the top group. And you can see just by moving these four up here that I've made another hole. And I move this one up here. And you can see I've got two more tenths. Now I worked out that I would that um, by adding those tenths together, or multiplying those tenths, I would get 1.2. And you can see I was right. I have got one hole here and two tenths left over. 
And we're not quite done yet because so far all we've worked out is two groups of six tenths, but we've still got these holes as well. So you can see there are two groups, and in each of those groups there are two holes. Two groups of two holes gives me four holes. So now it's time to uh, add those two parts together. When I worked out the tenths, or two groups of six tenths, I found out that the answer to that was 1.2, and when I worked out my holes, two groups of two holes, the answer was four, so now it's time to add these together. Four holes plus 1.2 holes gives me an answer of 5.2, or five holes and two tenths. And I can tell that I'm right by looking at the materials here. I've got one hole, two holes, this whole row is a third hole, down here is my fourth hole, down here is my fifth hole, and here are my tenths, 0 0.1, and another one would give me my 0 0.2. Now let's just finish with one really quickly that has no materials. I'm going to imagine I've got four groups, and in each group there are 2.8 chocolate bars. So let's work out the tenths first. There are four groups, and there are eight tenths in each. I know that four groups of eight tenths equals 32 tenths, and I know that since there are 10 tenths in a hole, 20 tenths would be two holes, 30 tenths must be three holes, and two tenths left over. And I could have written that out like this. Four times 0 0.8, because this is in, this eight is in the tenths column. Now let's work out how many holes I've got. You can see I've got four groups, and in each of those groups there are two holes, four times two equals eight, or eight holes. So now we've worked out what four groups of eight tenths would be, and we've worked out what four groups of two holes would be. Now it's time to add these amounts together. Eight holes plus 3.2 holes gives me 11.2 holes. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. Uh, for more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.